Hello everybody and welcome along to another course play tutorial for Farming Simulator 19. I am Simulation for the Nation and today we are on episode number 7 and we're going to be looking into how we can mow, rake and bale grass. Now, for the most part it's very straightforward. What we do need to do though is just make sure that we have everything kind of ironed out properly and make sure there's no bugs uh, that can cause us any problems. I've saved the loop uh, and the course I have saved is for the mower here. Uh, it's as we would do normally by setting up a usual uh, field work course. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to get this guy to uh, get cracking really. Now what we, what we need to do here, uh, is he just gets himself away. Lovely stuff. Three mowers going well. Fantastic. So we'll jump out the way there. We then need to come along and do the exact same course for vehicle number two, which is of course in this instance is going to be the rake. We're going to let him get around a little bit first, we'll come back once he's uh, a little bit further ahead on the headlands, maybe he's got one or two done, so we get a little bit more space and we'll see what we're going to get up to. Alright folks, so you can see, John Deere is now on headland number two, so we're going to zip ourselves around into position. We're using the Massey here with the rake on, now this rake is marginally, marginally wider than the, um, than the three butterfly mowers we have over on the John Deere. This is 8.7, or maybe 9.1 meters, and I believe the mowers come to a combined 8.4, or there or thereabouts. Uh, so, that's not going to stop us here today though. What we're going to do, we're going to go back into field work. We're going to load in our course. Uh, we want to use grass mowing. Uh, as you can see, it's brought up the exact same start point, which is great. Uh, then what we do, we go sort of around here a bit more. That's fantastic. Make sure we're on there. Uh, first waypoint, and he's gonna unfold, and he should be good to go. Nice and easy. And off he goes, rowing up a nice big swath as he travels, which is fantastic news. Uh, now we should see all being well that the mower is probably traveling at around about the same speed there, actually. So, in terms of uh, kind of any collisions, fingers crossed, we should be okay. Oh, look at that! There you go. Alright then folks, as you can see we have got the Massey has been uh, working away, the John Deere is now ahead of it, it's finished three headlands, now it's going to start running its lengths, which is good, all being well they're not going to crash into each other, uh, now that the Massey's got a bit of space we're going to jump into the baler here, and with the baler, uh, it's very straightforward to do, we're using the exact same course that we've already set up, uh, which, is, which is great news, the same course that's set up for the mower, uh, and we don't really need to change anything at all, all we need to do is click onto our uh, nearest waypoint, Let's go uh, first waypoint. What we should find out is that this is going to start to drive through and uh, get everything kind of follow the same track that the um, that our rake has taken, which is the most important one, really. Uh, so let's go drive course. And there you go, have it. Just like that, we are bailing. Uh, we're going to follow this around to see how it handles the headlands and particularly at the moment here you can see we've got the three vehicles going. It'd be interesting to see what happens if we start to get any close calls, near misses kind of thing. Uh, but it's following it nicely. What we should see, because it's a trailed vehicle as well, is that it should follow the similar path to that of the swath here, made by uh, the Massey obviously. So let's see how it handles here first and foremost. As always, you do find that there are often poorly executed corners with course play. You can tidy those up a little bit. I was in a rush to make this course. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, it's collected all of the swath, which is good. And it's flying up and down the field here now. Uh, that is the nice and easy way to go about it. Um, and what we can look into, of course, is um, doing a bale collection route as well, where you do the exact same principle if you use the auto stacker, for example. Uh, and all you need to do is when you get into the system here, you can start to set offsets for your vehicle. Uh, so you want to come on to driving settings and you're going to offset the course slightly. So the reason you're going to do that is because you want to offset the tractor so it's to the left of the swath so that the auto stacker can pick up the bales. Well folks, we had a little bit of a minor scuffle in the corner here, but with all that said and done, we're up and working now. You can see the baler is still keenly following the Massey. And uh, just about the head. John Deere is back on track. The John Deere crashed into the Massey for a spoiler alert there. Uh, but it's all good to go. So as you can see, when you get them all set up here and, and functioning as uh, expected, it really is quite the um, almost hypnotic process now. 
Uh, the only thing you have to do, like with a lot of course plays, is typically just follow the uh, follow the full course, babysit them really, just to make sure it all goes well. But as you can see, we're making short work of this field now, which is fantastic news. Uh, and all in all, we're not we're all going at a consistent speed, whereby the uh, no one's going to catch each other up. The John Deere is going faster than the Massey. The Massey is going a little bit faster than the the Fent on the Baylor. Uh, so, which is fantastic news. All is looking good. Uh, and we will look into uh, further course play routes with a bit more difficulty when it comes to bailing. We will look into, uh, I want to look into the possibility for bail chasing as well. So we're going to have a look into that one for sure. Uh, in terms of bail and straw, the same thing applies. All that you need to make sure that you do is uh, establish the working width of the combine header and make sure that your tractor and implement has the same width. After that, you are all set up, you are all good to go and then you'll be able to get bailing in no time. Um, if you want to put a tether in here in a rake, exactly the same thing applies. Just stick a tether into the course before the hay rake or before the windrower uh, and it'll all marry itself up there without any problem. Uh, for now though, we're going to leave it here and watch these guys as they continue the bail. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you found this useful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Simulation for the Nation. If you have any comments, of course, do leave them down below and I'll endeavour to get back to you with an answer as soon as possible. Until next time though, I have been Simulation for the Nation. We'll see you in the next one.